Okay, upon reboot, the uh, multifunction station help software popped up. How to, how to use this? How to use the viewer? How to scan? How to how to use how to print from an application? How to use fax notification device monitor? Yada yada yada. Over here, the multifunction station software popped up. Notice that there's no icons on the screen here. That's beautiful. I don't see anything down here in the taskbar. That's also beautiful. We have the firewall turned off. So make sure that everything works first at, correctly at first. I'll turn it back on later. And then over here, in the start menu, under Panasonic, we have device monitor. We have IP address checker, multifunction station, PC fax, remote control, scan, settings, support web page, uninstall, usage tips, and viewer, and print utility, read me first or uninstall. So, device monitor. Okay, it's searching for devices. Oh, look, it found all of the other printers on our network, an office jet, a Panasonic, and a laser jet over here. It's showing that uh, some of them are in power save mode. Up here is search settings, search, refresh. So let's double click on the Panasonic and see what we get. Alright, it's telling us the status. That's in power save mode. Let's see, it also says power save mode on the control panel. Let me activate it over here. Get it out of power save mode. Okay, it's now out of power save mode. Let me refresh. Okay, it's telling us that uh, it's now out of power save mode and it's ready. Advanced information. It's telling us that it's got letter paper in both trays and the black toner exists. Little baby. Device. Okay, general information, printer language, consumable. The drum is usable. Okay, let's go. Okay, so that's the device monitor if you want to check and see if the uh, how the well the device is working. And it looks like that that is an executable file, which means that it's not going to be running in the background. Let's see on device manager settings, remote print notification, basic information when started, beep when error, pop up when error occurs. So okay, it is running in the background and it should pop up when, it, when an error occurs. So okay, and it also has information on some of the other machines we have. It's showing us that the HP laser jet is in, also in power mode. Look at this, it's showing us that not only does ink and toner exist, but it's showing us the levels of uh, how much and it looks like we're going to have to fork over 160 bucks for some toner for black toner pretty soon. Ouch! And it's given us even more information. This is a nice little utility for uh, just by any office to have since it gives you information on all of your devices not just your Panasonic. Now this is not doing so well on this office jet which is an inkjet machine so I'm not going to complain about that too much. Uh, it is saying it's ready and it's probably sleeping as well. So that's a device monitor. This is your multifunction station. Scan. And the file viewer. Scan to file. Scan to email. Scan to OCR. Or custom. And actually it's starting a scan. It's scanning. And it should pop up in our default uh, email client. 
probably going to be Outlook. It's asking me to create a new profile in Outlook. We don't use Outlook, so let's forget that. Uh, PC Facts, you know what that is. Remote Control. This ought to be interesting. Password input is necessary. Please look at the operating instructions. Okay. Alright, so Remote Control basically lets us set up Fax speed dials, or fax phone book, the fax features, you can put in your logo, your fax number, 973-366-6782. This is nice, you don't have to do it from the control panel, which is difficult if it's not a touch screen with a keyboard. Fax journal, your caller ID information. We'll change the password. We'll do uh, M people password. We have to read the documentation before we can change any of this stuff. No utilities, viewer, device monitor, OCR, and the configuration web page. Now it's showing you that. Black toner exists, paper exists, general information on the fe feature set, network information, device configuration, wants a username and password, we don't have that yet. So you can look at all this stuff on a web page as well. And let's go back to settings. Alright, uh, your OCR path, name of the PC for the scan to PC list. Uh, you can use a Windows or a Panasonic launcher. And then your default scan settings for the viewer it lets you choose black, white, grayscale color, your resolution, paper size, scan size, and TIFF, PDF, JPEG, or bitmap file pretty much the same thing when you scan to file scan to email same thing you can adjust the settings for each function OCR same thing and custom so each one of these you can set different scan settings for each one so when you say scan and you use custom and you said it was grayscale it's going to be grayscale and you said OCR, you wanted black and white or color, it's going to be exactly what those settings were that we just said. So that's the multifunction station software. So you can run the multifunction station and get basically all the functionality that you would get from going over here, over here, to looking at all, mucking around with all these icons. So it looks really easy. Probably don't have to look at the book at all. Uh, the installation was super easy, and uh, as you can see, it's a nice looking machine, it's compact. Uh, from what we can tell so far, it looks like a really good deal, uh, considering it's also the least expensive black and white laser MFP on, with, on the market with networking. So, good job Panasonic, uh, this is just about exactly what we would expect, and we're looking forward to putting it through its paces. Thanks for watching.